If you want to build your lats, then focusing on your grip and your form is key. When it comes to back training, your lats are probably the first muscle group that comes to mind. They're the biggest one. They give you that nice big V, v taper. And when you see people that, that lift or bodybuild out, out in the wild, that's probably what you notice, right? Is that big V taper. Well, today we're gonna talk about three exercises utilizing a close grip to target those lats and grow them. All right, so let's start with one of my favorites. We're gonna do a close grip seated row. And to do this at home, we're gonna use a 41 inch band, low anchor point, something to sit on, and a pair of clench band handles. And the way that I like to do this, I'll basically string my band through the anchor point, fold it in half so that we get a lot of resistance in a short amount of movement or range of motion. And then I'm gonna use these band handles to create kind of a close grip V-bar setup. So we basically take one end of the band, hook it onto each ear of the handle, and then we pop another handle in right next to it. Boom, now we got a close grip setup. And why is close grip important for training the lats? Because it basically helps you to keep your elbows into your side, which is basically adduction, right? You're bringing it towards the center of your body. And when you do that, like if I ask you to flex your lat, what are you doing? You bring this thing in and you're flexing your lat. So you're adducting your elbow and you're pulling it behind your spine to really flex that thing. So this exercise basically achieves that and it allows you to use heavy resistance to really lock into that position. So as we go here, start out, make sure you get enough tension here. You may need to scoot your bench back so that you get clearance and all the important things so that you can do this exercise, right? And I like to kind of start with my my spine vertical, chest kind of pushed out a little bit, and then I'm retracting my scapulas to start, right? So I'm rolling those shoulders back, and then I'm pulling these elbows behind my spine, and then big squeeze. And when you do this right, you should feel those lats activating and really squeezing this rep. Pull it right into your midsection, squeeze it, control it, let it down nice and slow. And if we wanna stay targeting on the, on the lats, don't do a whole lot of momentum here. I like to keep this fixed. <sighs> Exhale, big squeeze, and then let it down slow. Even at this fully extended position, I'm still keeping my shoulder blades rolled back, keeping those lats engaged, <sighs> and pulling it in. And that's why I love this exercise so much because it allows you to just lock right in to that lat training, and it gets all of those, basically the lower lats and the inner lats like towards the center of your spine and even towards the outside engaged. Another good variation of this close grip is using a pull down style. So you got a high anchor point now instead of a low anchor point. And that's just gonna give you a little bit different of an angle um, in the pulling direction. The setup is the same thing, right? So we fold that band in half through our anchor point, pop one end of the band on each side of the handle, bring our other handle in right next to it. Now we have that V bar kind of set up and position yourself so that you're underneath of the anchor point. And now we're just gonna get full extension. Make sure that you have enough tension at the top, pulling you into that full extension. And now we're just gonna pull it down right deep, getting those elbows behind our spine, big flex at the bottom. Might need to adjust yourself just a little bit. <sighs> big squeeze here. And this different angle, I still feel it in my lats, but it's in a little bit different spot. So I'm noticing it kind of like in the middle of my back, kind of right below the, uh, the scapulas. So basically using that low grip or the, the seated row and the, the close grip pull down, you're gonna hit just a little bit of a different angle, but it's still gonna get those lats fired up. And here is one more variation. We're gonna do it like a bent over close grip row. So this will utilize the clench foot plate and a single 41 inch band. Same setup as before. So I'm going on the center channel here so that I can straddle it with my feet. And then I just hook one in, one end to each end of the handle, pop my other handle in right next to it, get everything nice and situated. And now I can jump right on this platform. I have tension pulling me down. So I stand up, get into that bent over position, kind of at a 45 degree angle 
and then we're just engaging our core. Start by rolling those scapulas back, pulling those elbows behind our spine, big squeeze. Let it down nice and slow. Still getting that lat engagement. Now we're gonna get a little bit of low back engagement as well. More core engagement. And this just feels excellent. Like I can really load this up and grind through the reps. All right, I hope you enjoyed those exercises. The moral of the story when it comes to back training and just training in general is make sure to utilize different exercises, different grips so that you can really target on the muscle you're trying to focus on. For instance, with the lats, keeping that elbow pulled in tight to your side and pulling it back behind your spine so you can fully contract the lat and feel that tension in the muscle group that is what's gonna get you the most bang for your buck. So if you liked what you saw today, be sure to smash that like button. Also, if you wanna see more back training videos, check out the on-screen video links. If not, we got tons of other content on this channel. Please check it out. Furthermore, if you need any of the bands or the accessories shown today, head over to clenchfitness.com. We will hook you up, and thanks for watching.